Hello guys and hello world. This is me, Alex. I'll be your broadcaster for today and welcome back to our channel here at EOS Marketplace News. So for today guys, for this video, I'll be giving you the price analysis as of November 21st. All right, so um, stay tuned. I'll, I'll be giving you the details in a while. But before anything else, be um, be reminded that we at EOS Marketplace News, we are not financial advisors. So we would like to recommend that you do your own research and then you can decide after this. All right. So guys, um, this news is brought to us by PCN or preferred currency dot news. <clears throat> okay. So I'll be giving you the price analysis for the 10 top cryptocurrency. Okay. So let's start. Bitcoin, Ripple, Ethereum, Stellar, EOS, Litecoin, Cardano, Monero, Tron, and Dash. So again, this is the price analysis for November 21st. So bottoms are formed during market capital um, capitalizations after Bitcoin broke below the critical support of $5,900. Um, $5, Investors dumped their holdings, fearing a complete loss in investment. So for someone who does not believe in the future of cryptocurrencies and who was in it only for making a quick buck, it might be the right thing to do. So however, for the others who believe in the story of blockchain and cryptocurrencies, the current fall offers a great opportunity to invest for the long term. During bottom formations, the outlook is always very dire and every bit of news is viewed as negative. One such news was the U.S. Justice Department investigating the probability of Bitcoin manipulation in 2017 using stablecoin Tether. Um, through we believe that any regulatory step to protect retail investors is a long-term positive. The markets did not view it in the same way. After after the fall, while naysayers are, are claiming victory and forecasting a further fall, the bulls see an opportunity to buy for the long term. Um, it is difficult to predict a bottom when markets are gripped in fear. Hence, we believe it is better to wait for the markets to show signs of stabilization before attempting a buy. The software companies did not vanish after the dot com um, dot com bubble, though um, the world did not come to an end after the financial crisis of 2007 to 2018. In the same way, this bear market will also pass and the stronger cryptocurrencies will rise and reward investors. Therefore, be patient and let the markets offers offer us a relatively low risk buying opportunity. All right, so guys, um, I advise that we must be careful um, on our moves, especially when we are investing or we are buying cryptocurrencies, all right? Okay, now let's start. First off, BTC and USD. So Bitcoin nosedived to a low of 4,368.69 on November 20. The fall of the past two days gives the impression of panic selling by investors. Usually, bottoms are formed after such a round of liquidation. Both moving averages have turned down, which is a negative sign. The RSI has hit deeply oversold levels, which suggests that selling has been overdone and a pullback is likely. So the bulls might attempt to carry the BTC and USD pair to the downtrend line, which can prove to be a roadblock. If the downtrend line is crossed, we expect the bears to offer strong resistance in the zone of $5,450 to $5,700. So the next leg down will give us a um, better insight about the bottom. If the bear slides through um, $4,368.69, the fall can extend to $4,000 and below it to the major support zone of $3,500 to $3,000. On the other hand, if the bull successfully defend $4,368.69, the probability of it being the bottom increases it is difficult to pinpoint the bottom right away. We can confirm the bottom only in hindsight. All right, XRP and USD. 
Ripple has emerged as one of the high performance dur um, performers during the recent fall. So it has stretched its lead over Ethereum after becoming the second most valuable cryptocurrency in terms of market capitalization. Um, the XRP and USD pair is currently finding support between the trend line and $0.40. So both the moving averages remain flat, which points to range bound actions in the near term. On the upside, $0.519 and $0.565 will act as resistances. On the downside, if the bear same price is below $0.40, a fall to $0.37185 and below, uh, and below that to $0.26913 is probable. So though we are relatively bullish on the digital currency, we shall wait for a new buy setup to form before proposing any trade. Right, next, ETH and USD. Guys, Ethereum extended its fall on November 20 and broke below the support of $136. The RSI has reached deeply, deeply oversold levels, which previously re resulted in a pullback. So currently, the bulls are attempting to pull back from the $126.20 level, which is likely to face a stiff resistance at $167.32. So the downtrending 20-day EMA will also be a difficult hurdle to cross. If the next leg down breaks below $126.20, the ETH and USD pair can extend its decline to $110 as the trend is down. We shall wait for a new reliable setup to form before recommending a trade, all right? Next, XLM and USD. Stellar broke down of the ascending channel on November 19 and followed it up with another sharp fall the next day. However, the bulls have managed to hold the critical support at $0.184. So the current pullback attempt is likely to face a stiff resistant, resistance at the support line of the channel and above it at the downtrend line. If the bear sink the XLM and USD pair below the critical support at $0.184, it can slide to the next support at $0.13 and below that to $0.09. Next, my favorite crypto, EOS and USD. So guys, EOS broke below the critical support ooh, um, of $3.8723 and dived to a low of $3.4703 on November 20. In doing so, the RSI dipped into deeply oversold territory that indicates that the selling has been overdone and pullback is probable. Currently, the bulls are attempting to climb back above the overhead resistance at $3.8723. Um, $3 if successful, um, the pullback can extend to $4.493, which might again act as a stiff resistance. If the pullback stalls at $4.1778, the bears will again attempt to sink the EOS and USD pair below the support at $3.8723. So, guys, if successful, the decline can extend to the next support at $3. So, the falling 20-day EMA and the RSI in the oversold territory show that the bears have the upper hand. All right, next, LTC and USD. Litecoin dipped to an intraday low of $31.78 on November 20, so which, which was just below our suggested support of $32. So the pattern target of a breakdown from the descending triangle is $29.653. So we believe the zone between $32 and $29.653 will act as a strong support. However, as the trend is down, any attempt to pull back will, trade, uh, will face a stiff resistance at the 20-day EMA that is sloping down. Above this, the next major resistance will be in the 47.246 to 49.466 dollar zone.
So we believe that after such a sharp fall, the LTC and USD pair might attempt to form a bottom run current levels. However, the trader should wait for a confirmed bottom and a new buy setup to form bef before attempting to buy. Next, ADA and USD. Cardano fell in the past two days and overshot our suggested support of $0.043722 and made an intraday low of $0.041572. The RSI has declined deep into the oversold territory, which suggests a pullback is around the corner. Now, the pullback can carry the ADA and USD pair to the overhead resistance at $0.060105. However, the trend is down. Hence, any attempt to recover will face a hurdle at the previous support of $0.060105 and the 20-day EMA, which is sloping down. All right. Now, to continue... Um, Guys, if the next leg down breaks below the support at $0.041572, the fall can stretch to the next lower support of $0.025954. Okay, next, XMR and USD. Monero is trying to find support close to that $64.525 level. The RSI has entered deeply oversold levels which shows that selling has been incessant. We believe that the bulls will attempt a pullback from the current levels that can carry the digital currency to the overhead resistance at $81. All right. So the bears are likely to attempt to turn down the XMR and use the pair from $81. If the next down leg breaks $64.525, the full can extend to $60 and below that to $46 levels. Our bearish view will be invalidated if the bull scale $81 and sustain above it. Currently, there are no bullish patterns that suggest a buy. Hence, it is best to remain on the sidelines. Next, TRX and USD pair. In the past two days, Tron broke below the two critical supports of $0.0183 and $0.0158761, uh, with the RSI dropping close to 15 on November, uh, on November 20. It shows that the selling has been overdone and a relief rally is likely. In a downtrending market, every previous support acts as a resistance after it is broke down. Hence, we anticipate a stiff resistance at $0.058761 and $0.0183. Um, if the TRX and USD pair turns down from one of these levels, the bears will attempt to sink the price to the next support at $0.0084479. On the other hand, guys, if the bull scale $0.0183 within the next few days, it will confirm that the current fall was a fake breakdown. We shall wait for the trend reversal to happen before suggesting any trade in it. Okay, so last but not least, Dash and USD. So Dash is currently trading inside a descending channel. It broke below the critical support of $129.58 on November 19 and made a new 52-week low at $98.01 on the next day. So it is presently finding support at the bottom of the channel. The bulls might attempt to push prices back above that $129.58 resistance. If successful, the pullback can extend to the upper end of the channel, close to $160. However, as the Dash and USD pair is in a downtrend, we anticipate a strong resistance at $129.58 and at the 20-day EMA. So during the next down move, if the support at $98.01 breaks, the next support is at $75. Traders should wait for the trend to reverse a bottom to form before initiating any long positions in it. All right. 
So guys, that has been the latest update for today, the price analysis as of November 21st. So if you want to be updated, please visit preferredcurrency.news and subscribe now. In subscribing, you can use your PayPal for monthly recurring, only $15 per month fiat, or you can be, use the Coinbase option for $180 annual subscription to be paid with crypto. All right, so guys um i hope you enjoyed my um video and i hope that you have taken down notes the most important part of the video which is um the lesson here is that you should be careful in um your next move okay we need to be keeping track of our favorite coins and tokens and of course um, we need to be updated so the solution is to subscribe at preferredcurrency.news because at preferredcurrency.news will when you become one of our subscribers we will be sending you a newsletter every day that's via email 12 hours before we post videos here on YouTube all right so guys that has been for today I hope I hope I hope that you enjoyed my video don't forget to click that like button and if you have comments suggestions and um, any questions or concerns please feel free to put down in the comment section down below all right so this has been alex thank you so much and have a good day bye